Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And today what I'm going to be trying is, I'm going to be trying to make some resin beads. Now, one of my other crafts that I do is I make glass beads, as you can see here. And these are some of the glass beads that I made a while ago, quite a while ago. And um, they're all different sizes and slightly different shapes because I've picked them out of a selection that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can create a mould using um, silicon rubber. And if you want to know how I create a mould, then have a look at the video above. Uh, that's how I create moulds. Then I'm going to put them in there. Then I'm going to use the mould to see if I can cast some um, resin beads. So I'm about to pour into this, but before I pour into it, what I want to make sure I don't happen is I don't get any air bubbles trapped in the holes of the bead because obviously I want those to be there. So what I'm going to try and do first is I'm going to try and fill those holes first. So there's no air trapped in them. Okay, I think they're full now. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pouring the rest of this um, made up uh, silicon into this pot. Uh, it's all sealed all around the edges and I've sealed it. So the mould is now set. So I now need to take it out of the um, actual pot. It comes out quite easy. Now what I am going to, because I've already, as you can see, I've already broken one of the little inside bits. So what I now need to do now is carefully remove these beads from the mould without breaking the um, the bit that makes the hole. I mean, like I said before, if it does break, then it's not a major issue because I can drill the beads, but I would rather not have to drill them if I can. So I'm going to take these out and then we'll see what they look like. So there we are, that's all the beads came out, and obviously no harm came to the beads at all. They just came out really, really easily. So there are the beads. Um, what did happen is one of the little um, stems I did manage to pull off out of that one there. But there's a little bit left in the bottom of it, and I'm quite happy with that. Because what I'll do is, that will leave an impression where the hole needs to be drilled. And then when I've cast the bead in that, if I like the bead that comes out, then I will... Um, continue drilling and it's the same one there as well that must have had a little air bubble in it even though I tried not to get a little air bubble in it and as a result um, what's happened is uh, it's not fully length so but it will make a part of a hole and I will just drill through it so let's see how this goes and as I said this is a really robust mold so I'm hoping that they'll come out okay um, what we'll do is we will see in a little while once I've poured some uh, resin in them how they come out so I'm going to use some pure gold mica powder but I'm also going to be using some glow in the dark gold powder I'm going to be using some purple mica powder and some purple glow in the dark powder and I'm going to be using some fiery fusion which is red mica powder and red glowing um, although it doesn't look very red to me glow in the dark powder so i've mixed my resin up and what i've done is as you can see i've mixed my resin up ensuring that i have the minimal amount of bubbles in my resin because i really am going to not be able to get the bubbles out of it once it's in this mold and if you want to know how i do that then have a look at the video above um, and I show you how to mix up resin without any bubbles the reason i'm going to be showing you the pouring on these is because actually you have to pull the mould quite a way back to be able to pour the resin in. And I want to make sure that I pour in a really thin, steady line because I've done all that work to ensure that there's no bubbles in it. And I want to make sure that it stays like that. So using a really thin, steady line and pouring it right to the top should allow me to maintain as few bubbles as possible. If I had a pressure pot, I could put it in there and then that would um, get rid of any bubbles. But what I don't want is I don't want bubbles around the edges spoiling any of these 
potential bead. So let's just do a little bit more in there. Right, okay, so that's full up far too high. Let's get a stick, a bit of paper. And let's take that top off. Okay, and there we go. I think it can hold just perhaps a bit more. Yeah. So we've got these now nicely filled up. As you can see, um, they're all filled up. I'm not going to tilt them towards the camera because that will <laughs> pour the resin out. I just need to have a little clean up now here around these edges. That's it. And what I will do is I will cover these and once they're cured, then I'll pop them out and we can see what they come out like. So let's see what they look like. There's the first one. Oh, I'm really pleased. That's come out really, really well. It's quite pretty. There's one. And the middles pop out quite nicely. There's two. Now I will remove those little rough edges. It's quite simple. And it won't mess up the bead. So what I'll do is I'll take my X-Acto knife and my little thing needs filling up, it's running out of gas. And I'm going to heat that up, heat that blade up. Okay, that should be enough. And you see those rough edges? I'm just going to run that hot knife off around them. Like so. And it will just take those rough edges off. And what it will do is it will still leave a shiny surface. Which is great. There we go. So I'll show you again. So let me just show you again. So I'll heat this up. Okay, and I'll do it on the blue one. I think it's blue. Actually, it might be purple. Okay, so there's a little bit there. And it'll just take that off. And it'll leave it shiny. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to have to drill through that using my uh, Dremel. I know that. Um, but that's quite simple and I've shown you how to drill through before and the same with that one so if that nice or not but other than that I'm really really pleased with them so apparently what you have to do to make those you um, lights glow if they're gonna glow is you have to charge them with a UV light for a little while, and apparently they stay charged quite for quite a long time. So let's charge them up, and we'll see if they glow in the dark. Although it's not very dark in here, so the likelihood is it's um, going to take a while. There we go. I've charged them with. I've turned all the lights off in my studio. That's why it's dark. I've charged them a little bit with UV light, and they are definitely glowing in the dark. And when the UV light hits them, they also light up, which is really good. I think it's a great little effect. So there we go. An easy way to just make your own beads. And that, now that mould is quite robust and I will be able to use it uh, many, many times and make many, many beads if I want to. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. Um, make your own beads. It's great. It's easy and it's fun. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.